Watch is a nonprofit software that was produced in, out of Purdue University. It's a voluntary, free, non-regulated service that we are offering our growers, beekeepers, and applicators in the state of North Carolina to take advantage of. Uh, to access the site, to sign up for accounts, you would go to www.fieldwatch.com. And if you're a crop producer, you would want to sign up under Drift Watch. If you're a beekeeper, you would want to sign up under Bee Check. And if you're an applicator, you would want to sign up under Field Watch. On the Field Watch map, you can see the states that are currently involved in this program. And we'll go to North Carolina. When you click on there, you can see everything that has been registered so far. For example, here's a vegetable crop. It's organically grown. It's approximately 1.34 acres. And this is what the public will see. So if a pesticide applicator wanted to ensure that they were not going to unintentionally have drift go onto this particular field, then they can look at the actual site and make sure that they will not accidentally drift on to their location. So this user registered on the site and drew the lines for their field. North Carolina also has state registered beehives and then uh, regular beehives that are not registered with the state. It's not mandatory that they register with the state, but if they're registered with the state, then applicators are required to notify them of intent to spray within a mile radius of their apiary location. You can zoom in on them and it'll toggle the state apiary distance which is larger because if it's, the apiary is not registered with the state, they do not get this mile radius circle. They would just have the half acre circle, which is much smaller. And this is uh, interfaces with Google Maps. So this is the half acre circle for a hive that's not registered with the state. but applicators that are part of the Field Watch, Drift Watch, Bee Check site can see this location. So if they own this field back here and were to make an aerial application, they can be aware of this location and make sure to avoid contact. So once you create an account on Bee Check, you can map the location of your hives. And you can find your location on the map by entering your address or GPS coordinates. So if this is the location of my beehives, we can pretend that's a beehive for this, I would click on Add Hive, and then I would enter the pertinent information, and you also select whether, whether or not the hive is permanent for the season or if it's going to be moved. We'll select that it's permanent. And if the hive is registered with the state or not, that's what enables the circle to be the one mile radius or the half acre radius. We'll say we are not registered. And the type of bees. And active dates, site will be registered. You can select the date you want it to appear on the map or that you want it to be on the map as soon as a data store approves the location. And then this is optional information. You can nickname your site, have some comments viewable to the public, or comments that you want the data store to know to review with the approval. OK. So center the map on the following address. I already have the map near the site location. And then you just will want to place your hive. And I'll, you just click where it's at. Well, actually place manually or with GPS, click where the hive is, and then you can do multiple. If you're a hobbyist, then one pin denotes one hive. If you had selected commercial, then you can put the number of hives that are in your apiary. 
And once you're satisfied with your hive placements, you'd click Done Placing Hives. And as long as everything's correct, you would click Submit, and that will kick it over after you agree here to the data stored for approval. And your screen will look like this. You can see the ones that you've submitted, and you can see the ones that have been approved. And if you click on one, it will pull you right to that actual pin. Or you can click on the pin, and it'll pull up the information for that pin. OK, so if you're a pesticide applicator and you want to see where specialty crops and beehives are located, you would want to sign up under Field Watch. Once you get a username and password, then you can fill out your other information and ask for the applicator license number. Then you read through the uh, site disclaimer, agree to that, and then your account is created. With FieldWatch, you know, you live in a certain part of the state, but you can elect to be notified of registrations for the entire state. You can select your counties, or you can draw your region on the map. I'll choose to select counties, and since I'm in central North Carolina, Wake, Orange, and let's say Durham are my counties of interest. And then it zooms in on my areas and I can see the sensitive sites. And I can look at what they are and get more specific information on their locations. This program is voluntary, non-regulatory, and free to use. It should help especially crop producers, beekeepers, and pesticide users be good neighbors and work together to protect our pollinators and avoid drift on sensitive crops.